Blowfall Creek Orchestra. I just wanted to give you a quick uh, tutorial on your tuner app and also show you how to tune your instrument with your fine tuners. So the app in question that we I want you to make sure you have is this app right here. The name of the app is called Tuner Lite, L-I-T-E. And this app is what I found to be one of the better into uh, tuner apps. So when you open it up, it's going to look like this. It probably will have the skin of this one. It'll have the black skin on there, but you could just change the color if you want. And I like the blue one because we're Fall Creek and we want blue. So you'll see there's two buttons here. One is a like a Y shape, and that's a visual representation of a tuning fork which is this thing right here. Um, it, what This is how they used to tune their instruments back in the day. You'd ring this and it would, it would offer a sound that would be an exact A440. So that's the tuner button. And this is a sound generator. So when you click on this, you can hear it making a sound. We don't necessarily want that. We can use that, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for this tuner app. And what you'll notice, you can see now that I turned it on and I start talking, it starts moving around like crazy. So some important things to note when you're getting ready for this is you wanna make sure that this is set, this number right here, that number right there, says 440 that means it's registering 440 hertz per second and that's what pitch an open violin string will ring at so i've got my violin right here and i'm going to tune it the instrument is a little bit out of tune and i'm going to tune this instrument and what i want you to do is kind of hold it on your lap facing your body like this and you'll notice that there's a set of fine tuners down here and that the string goes directly into the fine tuner now, when you turn these, these are little screws that go in and out. And when you turn them in, there's a little hook on the bottom that pulls the string tighter and makes the note go higher. When you let these screws out, that hook relaxes on that string and it makes the string slightly looser, which makes the string slightly lower. So when you go to the right, when you turn it clockwise, it makes the, t the note go higher. When you turn it counterclockwise, it makes the note go lower. So I wanna walk you through how I would tune this instrument with that fine tuner. And I'm gonna make sure it's focusing in on the tuner in the back. And so the violin got a little fuzzy, but the tuner in the back is clear. You'll notice I've turned this on. And now I'm gonna play the A string. I'm gonna pluck it. Now, if you notice, there's a little line right here that's off to the side. It's off to the left. There's also a little light right here. And next to this little red light is a flat sign. Next to that little red light is a sharp sign. And there's green. So let's play that again. You'll notice that the line went that way and the flat bubble lit up. So what I need to do, this string, it's telling me that this string is a little low. So what I need to do is bring the, vo the sound of the string up in order to get the string to pitch. So I'm gonna follow the A string down. I'm gonna find the fine tuner. Remember it's low, so I gotta raise it up. So I gotta turn it to the right and I'm just gonna play and turn it until that line is as close to up and down as I can with the green light lit. you'll see that that A is pretty much straight up and down. Now I can move to the D. Do the same thing. You'll notice that the lines all over a little bit. The flat bubble is lit up. So I follow the D down. Find the fine tuner that's attached to that. Remember it's low, so I'm gonna turn it up. You'll notice that the letter D is registering here and the number of the line is straight up and down and the green light is flashing. 
Let's move to the G. So we are slightly flat. Follow the G down to this fine tuner. I'm turning it right to turn the pitch up. Okay, now the E string. So this one, do you notice how that E says E flat? Even though it says E, and notice how the line was sharp? Like the line was over there, but it said E. It's actually reading E flat, which is one half step lower than E natural. So we are very, very flat. But if you're not thinking about the flats and the sharps and you just see E, you'd see that and go, well, my E is sharp. And then you'd be raising it up. So we wanna make sure that says E and only E. It doesn't say E flat or F sharp or G sharp, it says E. So let's follow along. Notice how the flat went away and now we are a flat E natural. Okay, now the, the kicker is that once you tune a whole instrument like that that's really out of tune, you gotta go back and check your notes. So here's A. See how it's kind of floating a little towards the flat sometimes? Violins and violas, it doesn't do this as much on, but basses and cellos, basses in particular, you'll have to check through your instrument a couple times. Now I have an in-tune violin. So there you go. Thank you very much.